Okay, fun stuff, fun stuff. Let's let's crack on with this. First and foremost, I'm finding keywords to use to to demonstrate the power of the spreadsheet. And it looks like there are so many keywords in all these different niches that are untapped. So I've just tested one out and I can see straight away the first one that comes up is Quora. So if you if you have the capacity to start a new site, this is not a bad one. You can steal all of my keywords. I'm going to be using these types of keywords to demonstrate all of my bulk publishing framework videos going forwards. But my masterclass, I'm actually showing you my AI test site. So I'll be using, you'll be able to see all my real world examples, exactly how I'm doing the sheet. But for YouTube, I'm going to use the car niche. And again, this uh, niche looks like it's got plenty of keywords that you can take this method and do, which is which is perfect for this. For this. So my keyword is do BMWs hold their value? Straight away, you can see again, does BMW X series hold its resale value? So there are a few ways we could do this. We could do, do BMWs hold their resell, hold their value. That's a, that keyword's fine. Don't need to add anything else. You can then go deeper into the model of the car. So we're doing the make, that's one level, because then you can do BMW, you can do Ford, you can do Lexus, you can go through all the different makes of car, but then you could also do all the different models of car. And of course, doing that without a method like this takes a lot of time. It's going to cost you a lot because you're still having to pay per article. And it's going to, it's just going to take you a lot of time. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't go that deep into the specific model of car. But because you now have this method, you can do it and nobody else is doing it. You get to, again, you get that topical domination because you are covering it in depth and hopefully you are providing the, the, the best article for it. So you should be there for a long time. So you can start to rank for all different ter like BMW terms, all different Lexus terms and so on. So if your niche, of course, some niches are easier to find these types of keywords. So you're going to have to be creative, get on Google, use a tool like Keyword, Keyword Sheeter or Scrapebox to just put in your seed keyword and try and find as much as many keywords as you possibly can, and then just analyze them to see what works best. So we're gonna use this one. Do BMWs hold their value? And because we're doing individual articles, we're not doing variations, I wouldn't be doing all the different makes and models, but that would be done on the other page and in the sheet. So like I said, we're doing bulk publishing individuals, and that would consist of do BMWs hold their value? How to activate airbags in this type of BMW? How to all sorts of things pert pertaining to that specific model or make. So we're keeping it simple. We're just doing the model. But again, as I said, you can you can zero in on the model and the make and just completely completely dominate that topic. And you would be doing that in variation. So you'd be doing all the different models in variations, but Individual is just going to be different types of keywords. So I want to show you the updates that I've made on the sheet. A lot of the sheet is now live. So if you, you'd have to go, it's not going to update your one. You're going to have to go, if you've already purchased, you're going to have to go back into Gumroad and get that sheet because that's going to be updated, of course. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to put that keyword in. I always forget to get my API key into a new sheet. Never forget. Let's refresh. Now, the API key is live. The sheet is live. We're going to throw the keyword in and watch the magic happen. Sheet, do your stuff. So immediately we've got the slug. The slug has happened. The title has happened. The surprising answer plus Tips to maximize your car's resale value. Oh, wow. She, you shouldn't have. That's great. That's good. Uh, okay, so we've got the slug has been generated. The title has been generated. The meta description has been generated from the title. So it's grabbed the, the title information. It's made the best meta description for that title. Discover the surprising answer to whether BMWs hold their 
value plus value valuable tips on how to maximize your car's resale value get all the answers you need from expert automa automotive professionals right here the introduction has been generated from the title also you 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 might want to play around with it and see if you'll get a better result generating your introduction from the meta description or the title but hopefully the meta description has taken from the title enough so this all makes sense and it looks like it does you're in the market for a, for a car hmm you want to make okay make sure it's one that will keep its value over time one of the most popular and reliable brands is BMW. Do they really hold their value? In this article, we'll explore the surprising answer to this question and give you some tips on how to make the most out of your call when it comes to resale. So back on that. So this is why it's really important to do them in succession. So it grabs, so grabbing the meta from the title. So title from keyword, meta from title, introduction from title or meta. So it all makes sense because otherwise you'd be just generating anything. And now... This is one of the new features I've added. So you you generate your outline and then it generates the headings and it puts them in order. I'm going to have to play around with it to get it to take away those numbers because we don't, it's not a listicle, so we don't need those numbers in there. But of course you can just edit it. You, you can just save values and flatten it and then edit it. So for one, we don't want the introduction. So yeah, we don't want the introduction. We might not even want a conclusion, but you do have the option to edit the outline and now would be the time to edit the outline because when once you edit it it's going to edit the headings if you flatten it you're going to have to manually edit each heading so i'm going to just flatten this on its own i'm not going to use save values i'm going to just copy and wait, let me check it first does bmw hold value better than other brands why do people choose to buy use bmw revenue how to get the most it's fine it's fine copy and I'm going to just go to paste special and values only this way I can edit it and it's not it's not frozen any of my other formulas so what is BMW and why do people buy them we never want anything like that it's a stupid stupid thing that AI does and take those away and we're going to take these numbers away now so does BMW hold its value better than so on that's fine factors benefits we could have faqs here but i've not planned this out yet i probably would put faqs as a h2 and then put individual faqs as h3 so is it worth investing in we can leave that for now we can leave the conclusion for now but yeah that's that's up to you but we've only got six headings now so maybe another line with faqs would be okay so as i said once we update the outline now it updates the headings and those are perfect. Those are perfect. We just don't have heading seven. We can leave that column or delete it. It's not going to affect anything. FAQs, I'm working on I'm working on adding possibly adding the feature to scrape the SERPs. But more specifically, I want to be able to scrape people also ask questions and then it would generate, you know, like maybe the top three or four as FAQs and it would do the same thing so it would put them in a row here and then I'd have FAQ1, FAQ2, FAQ3, 4 and then it would split them into their individual rows. It does add a bit more work when you're filling out the sheet but as I said we're going for topical domination and we want our post to be better than every other post on the topic even though we're zeroing in on lower search volume because we're covering everything every keyword under the sun we want those articles to be good we don't want to just throw anything at it so even if it's not been handcrafted to be the best article in the world it's going to look like time and care and effort has been put into it because of the way um, that we've structured it because of the things it covers because we're doing internal linking because they have featured images everything's just going to look professional and clean for anybody landing on the page and that's the aim so we will have the, the ability to do off FAQs and then you you will need to add Q1 text FAQ2 text and so on and so forth just like you do when you add these in the next thing is we've got our anchor text here the anchor text is grabbing from your keyword but you can change it to anything this is a field that you can change 
but because this anchor text is what we're going to use when we're internally linking with other posts because these are individuals there's going to be other other types of articles that are all related to BMWs that you're that make it very easy to internal link so you'd put your you put your site in here so we're just going to put an example so we've got we've now got our site in here and now it generates your the URL for the page so it grabs the slug I've made a mistake so in the URL concatenate I need to add don't worry I will update it but I need to add a slash simple 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 fix so yeah so we've once you put your site in it's going to grab the anchor text as the it's going to grab the keyword as the anchor text you can change that here if you don't want that and it's going to give you the slug as your URL which you don't want to change once you've set your slug just leave it that's fine um and then it's going to grab the ahref for you because this is a pain to concatenate every time <laughs> it was it was justin justin charnell who does a lot of programmatic seo posts really good recommend you follow him that he told me that when i do my ahref concatenate i need to put three of those because i was separating it into like three different columns and it was a complete mess so now we've got the url we've got the anchor text and the ahref is generated for you automatically this column int link is going to be where we make where we craft our section for internal linking so sometimes i will just if the post is not completely related or if i'm doing variations it it might still make sense to do internal links but i'll do bullet points so i'll be like oh, you might want to know more about these cars or something like that. And then I'll link to those other posts as in a, in a bullet list. So I'll do a HTML bullet point list. But with um, when you've got individuals, you can just write an entire sentence or in a, an entire paragraph, and then you can just use your href to link to that. So you might say something like, you might also like, you may also be interested in learning whether or not no if because it's not going to make sense if anchor text if yeah something along those lines you're just going to word it so you've got a contextual internal link and you can do that for three or maybe four different internal links in your cluster you do want to spend some time here to really craft the anchor text so it's not a bad idea to use the keyword as your anchor text, but you might want to switch it up a bit. So spend some time in the int link column. It's really going to pay off because these contextual links are, are what really supercharge your topic cluster. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you some more automation that I've added to the sheet. And I plan on adding a lot more automation as I get more feedback. So everybody who has purchased so far, thank you so much. I'm dedicated to making this the best the best bulk publishing tool, although I know there aren't many of those that exist. I'm dedicated to making this the best, most efficient tool that I can. It is an ongoing project, so do keep checking back on the page for updates. That's it, guys. Peace.